hello uh welcome back i just thought i would do a little flip through of my planner that i'm using at the very moment um i'm sorry if you hear my son screaming in the background <laughs> he's talking to my daughter's toy uh and yelling as loud as he can apparently uh so this is a moterm a5 it was a ring planner um, I did take the rings out and I put the Hobonichi A5 inside of it, um, as you can see. Uh, there's a little bit of room to grow. I thought about next year adding a notebook in. Um, we'll see. I do carry a little notebook in here now, um, which I'll show you. So this is the A5. It's the yellow croc. Um, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know how well the video is picking up, um, but it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, like I said, I took the rings out. So here you can see where the ring holes are. Um, I just left them, they don't really bother me. Most of the time the planner's open when I have the cover open. So that doesn't really bother me too much. Um, so I have this, uh, dinosaur print. I got the paper from a store in Polaris, which is Columbus, Ohio. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't remember what the place was called, and it's been years since I got the paper, so I don't know if you'd be able to find it, but it's almost like a, I don't know how you would describe the paper. Like, the, it's just like a thick, like a, um, did you ever, like, crush up paper and then um like in school and then uh re like wet it and make it into new paper like that's almost what it feels like so um i don't think i have anything i think i have two coins in this i was trying to use it as oh i have my my old bookmarks that i used to use too in here um i was using this as a wallet but it's just a little too big to carry as a wallet um I do carry it with me to work every single day. It's at home with me every single day. Um, and I usually take it in the car with me. But when I get to the store, I generally don't take the whole bag in with me. I have like a little purse I keep inside my big purse, <laughs> which sounds crazy, but that's how I do it because I don't wanna carry this usually in the store with me. I just wanna run in. I have a one-year-old and a six-year-old, so I just don't wanna have to carry this with me inside. Um, but I do like to have it with me. Um, and then I just have a couple of papers, uh, bills, and then this is my little notebook. Um, I've just been using that to take some notes in. Um, I didn't start using my planner until April. No. It was late February when I started using this, so I do have some note pages in the front um, that are days I just didn't use for that day. Uh, but next year I probably I won't have those because I'll be using the Hobonichi from the beginning. So I'm trying to kind of figure out how I want to carry a notepad with me. Um, I'll probably just get another pack of these. I think I bought them at Staples. It was like a four pack. Um, and then I don't have anything back here except for like some different cards. Um, and some and a Menards rebate. Um, and then I just have my pen on a binder clip and then I keep whatever, um, sorry, I'm saying um so much. <laughs> I keep whatever mild liner brush pen I'm using for the week in the pen loop. Um, and then I just have a notepad. This is from $2 Chic on Etsy. And then my HSA card my um tabs they're just post-it tabs and then a washi card with some washi i got this forever ago but i do like i've been carrying it so i can tip things in and not have to carry a roll of washi and i just have my schedule folded up and then in the back i have the planner tucked back here and then i've had this tucked into the back which is just a fuckery flower from cindy at uh, Cindy Winterbaldo. Uh, she is also like Llama Loves Letters. 
Uh, she has an Etsy shop where she sells fuckery flowers. And this is a rose. I don't know if you can see, but it does say fuckery on it. And my, I also have the um, sunflower. It's my favorite. The sunflower one's my favorite. It says bullshit in it. They're hilarious. I don't know where the sunflower is though. I, th I used to keep it in the front. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the sunflower. And then it says bullshit. So. Um, and I just have like my, my Animal Crossing to-do list. And then this is a store near where I live that has um, my favorite candy that I cannot find anywhere else. Okay, so then in the planner, I do have a picture of my son and then I have our family picture, um, which we need, I need to put an updated one in here too. This is from last year in the fall. Uh, and then I use the, um, I've marked my paydays out on here. And then I use the Calendex as a um, index. So on the days where there's nothing except for a to-do list, I just put a line um, for things that are important. I just uh, note them on the line or the line next to it. Like I, we bought our generator and did cornhole boards on the same day. So I just, but the 15th had nothing notable. So I just wrote it here and then marked it so it was on the 14th. Uh, and I just moved over here and I don't update this every day. I just, I come back to it and re-update it as we go. Um, and then I have my months. This is this month, um, here's today. Um, and I just migrated these tasks because they're on different days. Um, and then I do track my bills on here. I write out the day that we're paid and then what bills I have to pay on that day. So, um, and then here is this week. Uh, I just have tabs. Um, you'll see I didn't use, um, I was trying to see if I could use these weeks for my son's school stuff when we did distance learning. Um, that's why it's redated. But I didn't use these pages because I didn't start until the 24th, it looks like, of February. So I might do a flip through because I haven't done a flip through yet. So I might do one for like the first uh, six months or whatever of the planner. Um, anyways, this is my first, um, or this is my current week. Uh, today is Monday. So, yes. And then I do use my dailies as a checklist usually. This is today. Um, I just made a note about the phone call that I had because I was trying to register one of our calves. It was the first year we've had our own calf. So I was trying to register her this year um, and I needed to call and ask them a question. So I just made a little note for future reference because um, hopefully we'll have three calves next year. So. Um, but yeah, that's how I pretty much do it. I then I'll make a list every day and I pre kind of pre-plan if I know I have tasks each day. So, and then I'll pre-plan um, this coming week or that's starting the 10th. I'll plan that probably on Sunday. I have a note to film and edit it. So hopefully you guys see that. I don't know when this video is going to come up. I'm filming it on the 3rd. I will probably not post it until I'm thinking not this Wednesday, but the next Wednesday, maybe Thursday. Cause I'm kind of trying to space them out. So maybe Monday and Thursday. So it probably won't be until the 13th. Um, Cause I'm also going to do after this um, an August goals thing, which I don't know why I'm telling you this because you'll see that video first. So. <laughs> Um, so you'll probably be seeing this on the 13th. I'm not sure yet. But that's pretty much how I do it. Um, if you have any questions or want to see something specific in the planner, um, I can leave me a suggestion down below and or let me know like on Instagram or anything like that. And I will try to get that filmed and see if I can't answer those questions. So, all right. Well, I guess that's it. I will see you in the next video. Um, have a great day. Bye.